Hi friends, today we're gonna make some deviled eggs. Who doesn't like deviled eggs? I've got three different varieties that I'm gonna teach you how to make today. It's gonna be fun. Okay, we're gonna start with a classic deviled egg. So I've got some hard boiled eggs here and I'm gonna go ahead and just cut them in half and I cut them in half lengthwise. And then sometimes the yolk's gonna stick to your knife and that's okay. Cause what you wanna do is we wanna take all of the yolks out. I'm gonna put the halved eggs up here. We're just gonna put that in there. And then we're gonna keep cutting these. And I'm gonna just put all of these in here. So basically now I've got all of the yolks from those eggs. I use six different eggs. And I'm gonna take a fork and just mash these up a little bit. And you get that nice, beautiful yellow color. And we're just mashing them up with a fork so they're nice and smooth. And then this is very, very, very simple. So we're gonna put just a little bit of yellow mustard, about a teaspoon in those six eggs, and a couple of tablespoons of mayonnaise. And then I'm gonna mix this up. And if you like other seasonings, some people put a little cayenne in there, but I tend to like mine with just the mayonnaise and a little bit of yellow mustard, and you can see how pretty that is. But now I'm gonna keep beating it because I wanna smooth it out because I'm gonna teach you how to put it in a piping bag and make it really pretty. All right, so I've got a piping bag here and a glass. So I've just put the tip, a star tip, in the end of a piping bag. So to make this easy, you just fold the piping bag down like this and put the tip into the glass and then pull this over the glass. And then it makes it very easy to fill the piping bag. So then you get everything right down there in the bottom. And like this is not a lot, you could use less. Now you certainly don't have to use a piping bag. I just like to do that, it makes it look pretty. So I'm gonna put that down in there and then we're gonna pull the piping bag up and just hold it down a little bit like that. And then we're gonna just squeeze that stuff right into the eggs, get mixture right into the tip. So then what we're gonna do is we'll come over here and I'm gonna fill up some of these with this mixture. It's nice to turn this a little bit. So we're gonna go right in there and see it makes that pretty tip and you just kinda of push it off and it's gonna come right out like that. And then we've got several of these that we're going to do like this. Okay, now I've got three that I'm going to leave just like they are. And I'm going to put a little bit of chives on top just to finish them off. You can do a little bit of parsley if you like. So those are our classics. And then I'm going to take these eggs and I'm going to make an egg salad. So I'm going to use a grater and I'm going to use the fairly large size grater. I'm gonna just sit it right in this bowl and grade these right in here. So that your egg salad, you wanna make sure that everything is nice and smooth. You can do a smaller grade if you like, but I like a little bit larger, <coughs> excuse me, grade. And then we're gonna, I've got three eggs here. So now you've got everything nice and um, shredded. And I'm gonna add a little bit of purple onion, about a teaspoon of purple onion. It's just been diced. We're gonna add uh, about a half a teaspoon of parsley. And I'm gonna add about a teaspoon, uh, maybe two teaspoons, cause it's bacon. Of bacon, crisp bacon. And then I start with one tablespoon of mayonnaise and mix it up. You can always add more mayonnaise, but you don't want it to be too mayonnaise-y. So this is our egg salad, as you have found almost everything we make is very simple because that's how I like it. It's gonna need just a touch more mayonnaise, maybe another half tablespoon, and then my secret to everything good, a little bit of Jane's mixed up crazy salt. All right, so now 
It's got a nice creamy texture to it. Now this one you can't put in a piping bag because all of those goodies get stuck in the piping bag. So we'll just use a spoon for this one. Or I can just use the fork actually, you can use that. So I'm just gonna take a little dab of this and I'm gonna fill several of these up with this. Doesn't that look yummy? So if you like egg salad and don't wanna eat it with bread, if you're gluten-free, this is a great way to serve it just in the egg white. It's really, really yummy and certainly different from when you have just a classic. And it has a different look to it. So it's very pretty on the platter when you've got different textures on the platter. All right, and so we're almost done here. And then we're gonna do one more that's really quick. All right, so there's our egg salad. And then what I'm gonna do is, the last one we do is we make a deviled egg that's called the carbonara. And carbonara, as you know, traditionally has bacon in it. So what we do, and uh, Parmesan cheese. So we're gonna take a little bacon and put it on top of these classic ones that I did not put anything on top of. And then you're gonna get a little bit of chives on there for some color. And then my favorite part is we're gonna take a Parmesan crisp. And if you wanna see how to make these Parmesan crisps, check out the YouTube video we did. They're very easy and simple. And we're just gonna take a little piece off and stick it right on the top of these. Just get the edge of this that's very crispy. And we'll put the, just a little piece on top and it makes it look really, really pretty. So now, voila, we have three different deviled eggs that we made very, very quickly. So friends, this is deviled eggs made easy for you. Enjoy the experience, always have fun. Until next time, cheers. <laughs>